Welcome to I Love Stocks. Miss Vegas will be sitting out of today's video and she'll be with us next Sunday. But I want to wish everybody the best with what's happening with the, the market plus what's happened with this coronavirus. Uh, here where I live, we are on a lockdown and the only essentials are supposed to be out working. But first, I'm going to bring up the count. This is from the uh, John Hopkins University. JHU, we have 684,652 confirmed with a total of 31,882 deaths with a total recovery rate of 145,696. And this is going to, and then also I want to, and I'll have this link posted below the video and you're willing to go ahead and copy it and keep it for your own personal views. I look at it about every morning. So, you know, it, it is a, a kind of a different situation we're living in today. It's new to all of us, and um, all I can say is bless everybody's hearts. If anybody knows anybody that's infected with this virus, and so my hearts go out to you. And let's go ahead and bring up my watch list that I'm going to be looking at. And I've got a couple on here I want to go through. As we go through the watch list, I'm going to bring up about five or six of them. Well, the first one I do want to bring up is going to be ABT, and I thought I added that to here. Yeah, there we go. We'll pull up the chart and have a look at it. So ABT had some news, and I also want to bring up the news. That's not it. There we go. We've got Abbott receives approval for tests that can detect coronavirus within five minutes. So that is a huge announcement because they need to speed up the process for one, and this is a good way of doing it. The company will begin begin making those tests available to the healthcare providers this coming week. And Abbott plans to ramp up manufacturing so it can deliver 50,000 tests per day. You know, that's nearly enough, but that, that is a good start, 50,000. But if you can get results within five minutes, I mean, we were looking at 45 minutes, now we're looking at five minutes. So, you know, this will really get the lines moving and I probably proceed a bunch of tent tests going on where parking lots will have testing centers for these tests. So that's going to be ABT. And I want to first look up at the chart itself and see what we got. Let's pull up the yearly, take a look at the yearly and see where we stand. Before the crisis hit, we were up here at 92.45 and we hit a low of 61.61. .61. And that's going to be our low support. So I'm going to adjust that at 62.76. I need to turn this into a dollar meter. And this is ABT, Abbott Laboratories. And let's go ahead and put a trend line right here, 62.76. Another one here at 64.82. And I've got a little channel of support right here, probably your first support, low support between this area right in here, and I'll chalk that up in a second. Then we have another one pretty much right in there at 69. I'm just kind of following up, drawing me up some trend lines. We've had a good little run last week when the market was green, and then we had another run on it Friday, and it pulled back like everything else did Friday right before market closed. So the signing of the, uh, of the $2 trillion stimulus plan, which... I was telling the room kind of, I think the, it's baked in. We did have three big black crows right here. As you can see, one, two, three, and I'll magnify that up. If you don't know what a black crow chart pattern is, that's when you have three, and then you have what you call three white soldiers that follow right after it. And we do have a resistance level right here, and it did pull back on that fourth day to a support level right around the 7456 area. And that's where we closed at, 74.56. Runs right into this trend line right here and is and is had three confirmations, maybe four or five. So that's going to be a pretty solid support right there on ABT. Let's pull up the 20-day chart and take a look at the 20-day and see if I missed anything. I do want to make this a low support down here, so I'm going to fill that in on ABT. And we'll do that right here. And that's going to be my low support. And the second support channel is going to be right in here between 69.69 and 71.04. Somewhere in there. 
we did have the three white soldiers that came out on Thursday, or three white soldiers that came out on Thursday, and it just kept on running. Created a high right at resistance level right here on the 20 day, right around the 77.58. So I think we're going to see that again. And on a 20 day chart, whoop, we got to go up here and change this. We're going to go through a couple of them. I got about 20 minutes I want to talk, so I've got a time limit. We've already gone through five. And we have a little resistance level right up in here. Let me put one there and put one there. So I'll have some targets to look at. And this is going to be your second support window right in here. In case it does pull back, I don't think we're going to have too good of a week this coming week. I think we're going to have another pullback. I kind of created, thought we'd have lower after the first initial breakout on the on the Dow. We'd have a, a resistance level and we'd come back and have a lower high. So that lower high will get a confirmation right around the 20,000 area on the Dow. Let me pull this up to, and I said 20,000 on the Dow. I want to see that hold. So let's bring this up to a three minute, see if I missed anything. Yeah, I've got a little, little resist support level right in here. We'll just go ahead and tabby that in there because I think that could be your first support channel. This will be your first support channel between 7550. I'm probably thinking at 7550, but pretty strong. But we held in this channel all day long on Friday, and then we had that into close dip, which she did kind of bounce back up off that news. So we're getting back up here. We got to have a resistance level we need to break. That's going to be this area right here at 77.63. Let me pull this 20 day chart up one more time. We have a low support of 67.06 to 68.02 for a very strong buy. Strong, I mean real strong. And then we have that uh, second support area, which is going to be a buy at 69.69 to 71.04, somewhere in there. And then you have your one, two, and three supports. I think your, your 73.22 is going to be a solid buy entry. If you can get into there, it'll pull back to that maybe. And the resistance that we need to break is going to be this 77.63 up with the new channel highs of 78.90 and 79.54. So let's move on down the watch list and see if I recognize anything else that I kind of like. I know we're going to put it on watch, so let's take a look at I know. You're willing to stop this video at any time and write this watch list down. This is my current watch list that I'm playing off of, and I usually like to play off the volume in the news. If news comes out, I'm willing to go ahead and get into it. So let's look at Ino. I have this set up in the Fibonacci's. We talked about this uh, with my buddy Vic in the room, and I think we got a resistance to break right up in here, right around the 38.2 percent which is at 992 if we can get past 992 we got another resistance right past it and that's going to be right here i think right there at the 1102 area so between 992 and 1102 is going to be a channel of resistance and if it decides to go ahead and move on up that's going to be free money to you and we have a 50 percent retracement right here on the fibonacci line from the 20-day low to the 20-day high and that price level is going to be right at 1175 and that's going to be at support levels again you know we've held pretty strong down here at a double bottom at 568 i don't see it going that low but it can i think the first support channel is going to be right in between there between the 568 and the 748 748 is going to be your first support second 668 and then 568 with a resistance to break at that 992 up to 1175 which is the 50 percent retracement on the big run we had to 20 bucks and that would be a strong exit point i think at 1175 so let's go back to the watch list like i said you can stop this at any time and check it out let's look at aytu that's going to be the next one for you little penny players we did have a pullback to support at 127 i was calling that out in the room for a strong buy and the 154 is a red line support. And this is going to be AYTU. And the resistance that we needed to break when we had that pullback on Thursday was that 8, 181. 
and we're gonna if we can break that 181 and get up here to this level of 195 we break that 195 and get it back up to just a little under 224 so low support 154 resistance that got broke on Friday after hours is this 11 181 and then we've got the two little under 224 for a strong resistance and I'll see if I can pull this up on a on a uh, three minute yeah low support down at that 154 resistance that we did have that breakout the ascending triangle that pattern right there and we did break out to the next resistance of 188 let's see if we can get AYTU up above two dollars and below 220 and the next one we're going to talk about just kind of going down the list guild guild's been talked about a lot in the room I want to give kudos out to Longhorn. This has been on this baby, giving us updates. I have a low support on this stock for a strong buy, and it's hit it every time. Let's go to the 20-day, magnify it up a little bit. I actually have it wrote right here, 67.56 to 68.24 is a strong buy. Resistance at 73.21. So if it can stay in that channel, fine. But we did break that resistance on, on um, Friday. And that took us to 75.41, and that's where you take the gift. We did have a high up here at 85.97. So, yeah, it, right now it's kind of setting up in a flag, and we've got to see which direction it wants to go. If it pulls back to this lower support of 69.41, we did touch that a few times, and that's going to be your strong, strong buy for a triple bottom. Resistance to break, 73.25. That's G-I-L-D. And let's see what else we have to look on here. You know, we, we, we like OPK. We like DDS. It had some pretty good volume. NVAX also is a good one to look at to keep on your watch list. And then um, APT had a nice little run, so let's take a look at APT. APT did pull back. We had some resistance levels up here, but we just always stayed below that resistance level of 1643. We do have a hard resistance here at 1320. Let me see what number this is. 1352. And if we can if we can get past that or we can take profit there, that would be great. Your low support on APT is going to be right down here at 1016. And let me turn this into a, a smaller little three-minute chart. So we have 1016 as a solid support. We did have an after-hour breakout. We did going to break past that 1207 area. Let me get to the 10 day and see if the 10 day gives me a little bit. Yeah, there we go. This is what I want to see. So we've got a low support now that we're going to have to change this around a little bit. I'm going to still stick with that 1016 as a strong buy. So and then we had this kind of like little place right in here, right around 1117. Let's turn that into a red line for the third support. Seventh, there we go. So we got 1121 for a pullback for your probably your oh I'm going to say just solid support resistance that we needed to break was this one right here at 1176 and I'm going to turn that into a red line. I'm looking at the channel. I'm looking at places where it consolidated. This is an equilibrium to a pivot point area in so far in this channel that we need to stay in and that was the 1176 area. So the resistance that it can go up to is going to be right around between the 1250. We do need to break 1207. We break that, we can get to 1250 to 1273 with a long, long resistance up here right around the 1352 area. And that's APT. And let's go ahead and do one more on here. Let me see if I can find something that it really triggers my mind. CODX had a nice little pullback. So let's take a look at this one. We've had a nice little run up to 1488 on the 10-day chart with a low of 750. So that's a 100% retracement almost, pullback, and we're starting to gain some momentum. Resistance to break on CODX is going to be right here at 1073 with a low support right down here at the at the um, double bottom. I don't see it going to 770, 755, but I do might see it come down here to right about an 811. 
So this is the way we're going to look at it. 811 for a low, low support, strong buy at 750 with a resistance. And then you got your first little supports right here. And I think that 899, eight, you know, eight bucks is going to be your first support. Your second one's going to be right down here at 865 with that channel and the third support at, at oh, looks like the meeting's going on here. You got to get ready to go to church. So I'll just move that out of the way. Now we have to go to church on, on Zoom. And Zoom's going to be one that you want to keep on your watch list. So we've got the resistance that we need to break is going to be this 1023. If we can break that 1023, we'll get back up here to about 1128. And that's going to be it for today on the watch list. So everybody be careful, be safe. Looks like I got to head to church. Pastor's getting a hold of me. God bless everybody and let your spirits be with you. We all have different religions and whatever you practice, you know, let's just kind of be patient and be kind to our fellow man and women. And I love stocks. Thank you.